I'm not sure if you're aware, but I've got my own resin jewelry and shaker kit out. And I'm so excited about this because all the bits that come in here, if you were to buy them individually, would cost you at least 20 American dollars more than what this kit costs you. And it's a great value kit. I'm going to do something different with this today. A friend of mine who's also a member of my channel called William Looney, he hates glitter. He is the glitter Grinch. There is no doubt about it. Suggested that you could make some fun emojis with these shaker molds. So I thought, well, what a great idea. I'm going to give it a go. I got some images from Google that are free to use and print them out using an inkjet printer on normal copy paper. And I'm just going to cut these out now and seal them in some tape. It's really important to seal them because the copy paper will absorb the resin as you're putting it over the eyes and it will spoil them. It will make them look really weird and could change the colour of the ink. So seal them using either packing tape or clear tape, as I'm doing here. I'm rubbing these down using a lolly stick to ensure that there are no bubbles trapped underneath because you don't want those spoiling your actual final finished piece. A few seconds there and it looks lovely. Folding the tape back over on itself to fully seal these, getting rid of the tape that's sticking to my gloves and then again going over it with the lolly stick to make sure they're really firmly sealed. Massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. It's people like you that allow me to keep this channel going. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, the link's in the description. When you buy me a coffee, please leave me a little note. I love reading the notes. It really makes my day. So cutting these out now, I would strongly suggest you leave about a one or two millimetre edge around the tape so the tape is wider than the actual piece of paper on the inside and that way you've got that really firm nicely sealed edge that resin isn't going to get into i'm using the j diction epoxy resin here that comes with the kit as well and some glitter and i'm going to give that a mix in as well as a resin color which is a translucent color so the glitter can still sparkle here and you know i love me glitter and these do make lovely glitter emojis because this is such a great consistency of resin the glitter isn't going to sink down and additionally because i'm putting it in the curing machine it'll be cured within two hours and doesn't have time to sink down i'm using my own titanium white resin paste here to color this if you want to know how i make that i'll link the video in the description below or as a card above putting some glitter in because why not gotta have that glitter and all that sparkle come through and again stirring that well to ensure that's really mixed into that before i pour it pour it slowly so you don't trap any bubbles in any of the ridges or anywhere that you don't want bubbles and the slower that you pour into this the less likely you are to trap those bubbles. A big thank you to all the people that are members of my channel and benefit from all the additional perks and the uh, and able to get hold of me and contact me and talk to me and a lot of the other experts in the group. If you'd like to become a member, then the link for that is in the description below as well. So once we've got that done, I'm going to go round it with a coffee stirrer. And these are nice and thin just to ensure that there are no trap bubbles and to lift them up if there is. Leave that for a few seconds while I'm filling up the second one. Again, using the yellow glitter that I absolutely love. Pour in that nice and slowly because there are quite a few areas here where you could trap bubbles. And then I will allow that to sit again for a few seconds before I go around it with the wooden stick to ensure that there are none caught in. Burst any bubbles that have come up with a long neck lighter, never a torch because the torch will burn your moles. Pop it in the curer and leave it to cure. These are all cured now, didn't take long in my curing machine. I will link it in the bottom. So let's have a look at these. Oh, they've come out nice. Yeah, that's lovely and sparkly. So what I plan to do is add these two eyes in. Firstly, I'm going to fill these so they don't look sunken right to the top with the UV resin. Look, it's got my name on it. That comes with my kit. And then I'm going to use the light that also comes with my kit as well to cure them off. Get rid of that little bubble that's in there. Don't want that there. That should be fine. Pop that light on. That won't take long to cure. Now for this one, I've got these little alien stickers that I quite like. They are a little bit too big for this, but that doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is put the head on there like that. Push it down and then either leave that chin on if you want to. But I'm going to just trim it up using a blade. 
and it's still going to look like an alien. And you could put someone's name in there if you wanted to, or whatever you want to do, really, just to jazz it up. And then I'm going to add some UV resin onto the top of this, just to give it that little bit of a more 3D look. And that'll sit on there and dome on there quite nice. Again, burst any bubbles that have come up. There we are. And then I'll pop that under my curing light. And I'll show you how I'm going to attach the eyes as well. Well, that's those cured now. So what I need to do is put these eyes on. And because it's sticky tape that we've used, that should actually adhere quite well already to this UV resin. So popping them down on there like that pushing them down. And then I will top that up with some UV resin and dome those in place. Make sure that they're in center position. Give them a few seconds to release any bubbles. And then again, cure that up under my lamp. And they're nice and cured. And what you can do now is either leave it like that or you can add some eyebrows and a little nose to it if you want to. I quite like that idea. All I'm using here is the Arteza paint. And for the nose, I'm putting three lines in there where the nose roughly would be. Let that dry. I'll probably give it a second coat and then I'm going to give it some little eyebrows there as well. Let that dry. Give it a second coat. That's nice and dry now. All I'm going to do is highlight those with a little bead of resin and this is the same UV resin. I just think it lifts them up a little bit and the same with the nose. If you want to go deeper on your eyes, this is the time you could do that as well. That'll keep that paint nice and protected and give it more of a 3D look as well. Cure that up with my lamp, which will take about a minute, two minutes, and then I'll show you what I've what else I've done. Well, that's those two finished. I think they've come out really well. Now, if you wanted to turn these into shakers, you could. The great thing about the UV resin by J Diction is once it's cured, it is cured and it is going to be really nice and hard. It's not going to be sticky at all, as I'm sure a lot of people will let you know in the comments below. And I also got carried away and I made some more. So I made a shocked one, a grumpy one and just a fun one. It was really easy to put this around. All I did was before I cured it up, I used a little bit of black mica powder in my resin, cured that up around the outside and then put the yellow glitter in. And I think that's come out really well, the red ones and the black ones. Let me know in the comments what you think. It's another use for your shaker molds. And if you want to make them into shakers, you can. All this comes in my kit, the UV resin. The only thing that doesn't come in the kit are the eyes and the alien stickers. But the rest comes in my kit, the resin and the UV resin, the brilliant light and all the other bits as well. I'll leave a link to the kit in the description below. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next if you want to make a profit on your hobby. I look forward to seeing you over there. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for lots of other wacky and great hints and tips and tricks and how to use resin. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.